I've seen an argument thrown around both on formerly known as Twitter and in 400 level philosophy head nodding sessions that I think needs a quick and solid response. Everyone from blue haired liberal arts goers to sword owning musk quoters to glazed eye astral plane projectors keep citing it as atheist gospel, but almost no one wants to clarify how it interacts with the modern world. This argument is Pokemon actual foot sizes to, I mean, determinism. It basically goes like this. Everything in the universe is made up of chemicals which cause things to happen by interacting or not interacting. When the same chemicals react in the same way, these chemicals will always produce the same outcome. Humans, human brains, and human elastigirl obsessions are all made of chemicals. Every thought we ever have can be accounted for by the chemicals in our brains. Therefore, everything we ever choose to do is determined by those chemicals. Given that human decisions are then chemically determined, nothing any one of us does ever matters at all. I'm simplifying it a little, but I'm wondering if you can see the problem with this argument. I'll wait the time it takes average Andrew Tate viewer to finish inside Sneeko Blowup Doll so you can try to figure it out. Here's a hint. It's the last thing. People build whole careers off never explaining what it really means to matter at all. Let me go into detail about what I mean. First, let's consider the idea that human decisions are chemically determined. Whether or not you agree with this, let's suppose this is true to see what seems to follow. If human decisions are chemically determined, none of our actions can ever be separated from the chemicals in our mind, sure. But these chemicals are the only things keeping us who we are in the first place. They constitute every one of our choices, fears, or fetishes, and saying chemicals in my brain cause me to act is functionally the same thing as saying I act, meaning that we still seem to act autonomously and with purpose or meaning whether or not chemicals truly underlie what we do. Basically, even if all of our choices are predetermined, making choices still feels like exercising free will. So it pretty much is. Philosophers among you might disagree, but for many of you, this might be enough of a response. Next, for all you Vanta Black Pill doomers out there, pretend I didn't just make that argument. Now imagine you believe in determinism and that it's causing you to feel demotivated. You think that it's pointless to work toward your goals because the future seems already encoded within your body's chemicals. Given this, you don't study very hard or you don't nair that chocolate starfish, or you don't message Bold Orphan for emotional help with your online gambling addiction. Whatever you don't do, your logic is backward. Your demotivation can only be caused by your continued acceptance of whatever belief makes you feel demotivated. This isn't a determined universe's fault, though, since you, as an apparently conscious being, will always have at least a sliver of agency in the things that you do. It's always possible, for example, that you'll suddenly wake up one day and perform a task-level Minecraft RSG speedrun after blind guessing the username and password to Mr. Beast Jimmy's account. In truth, a chemically determined universe universe could never be the issue here. Even if it wanted to, that determined universe couldn't stop you from ordering even one inflatable joy toy with elasticized anus and no-drip semen collection tray. The so-called problem with determinism can only be your belief that a determined world means everything you do is pointless or ineffective. So no need to stop believing in determinism, but you may want to stop believing that determinism affects you.